Do, 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 do. Hello to all the hair besties in the land! He's back! Again! Hi sisters! Okay. okay, so we have a little bit of a, a little drama, a little episode. Would you like to share? Yes. Well, first of all, you guys, guys like literally my guardian angel at this point. He's like protecting my head, okay? So as you guys saw in the last video, my hair was messed up. So I came back to Guy to re-bleach it and fix the whole coloring situation. We got it looking good. The color looks amazing, but my head is, the hair is dead at this point. You guys like, don't understand. It's like, bad. It's like literally, it's like hay. It's like a hay bale. I'm surprised a horse has not accidentally mistaken me for a bale of hay and come up and started eating my head at this point. See, the, the thing is, I was like, remember when I told you the first time you have to come back every four or five yeah. weeks? And it's so crucial. So what yeah. happened was I was in London. I was yes. on a flight back and I wasn't available to do your retouch. And right. you needed it done because you're doing a video. I had a very, very important shoot the next day that I absolutely, I could not push it. I had to film it. So I went to my friend and he did it. It was on a time crunch. So a few things went wrong. A little hair affair. Yeah. And it's not a big deal. I really don't care. But what happened was it caused a little bricage, yes. a little damage. Everyone always talks about the horrors of like bleach and how if you're not really careful, it can be super problematic and super dangerous. My hair has always been really, really healthy, and especially the first time that we did it, the results were so perfect. So I was like, oh, well, I'm fine, whatever. Because you know, you, you know, I don't do you wrong. Well, I know bleach is a it's, intense it's, product. It's you know like I mean? it's so like a hair surgery. Yeah, it you really know, is. you got bricage everywhere. So first of all, before anyone leave mean comments, I know how people can get every time I do like a paranormal hair the episode people was like I caused the damage I did it is what happened is I was on the flight so I couldn't do his hair so it forces you to have to go somewhere else to right. do it because you have a very important shoot yeah. at the end of the day it's a good lesson on patience it's a good lesson to take care of your hair because and oh, come back to me yeah well die I was like, <laughs> got it. but there's only so much I can do so yeah. by the last time I retouched I was like oh my god there's so much breakage so right. now we are wanting to go to brown back to basics yeah the platinum was a really fun moment I got some great Instagram pictures out of it, but ultimately my hair needs to just chill for several months. Are you are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. All right, let's fix it. Okay, guys, so we have to fill James' hair. So you guys know we have this underlying pigment swatch inside the book. So this shows you I have to fill in all the missing pigments because when you bleach the hair or lighten the hair from dark hair, it goes through the red, orange, yellow before it gets to blonde because we literally lifted all his blonde now and then we have to fill in the yellow, orange to put brown in his hair. So our goal is to get him as dark as possible. Um, so I'm gonna do like 5NI Demi. I'm choosing to use Demi Permanent Color because Demi deposits only. I only want to deposit. I don't want to cause any more damage to his hair that he already has. We only want pure deposit. So now I know I have to put Golden Sand Express Toner in his hair. I'm gonna apply it on his hair dry because I want full saturation of the pigment and for it to go as deep as we possibly can. And squeeze out Golden Sand. And this is where Golden Sand is great for corrective work too. It's not just for toning hair the shampoo bowl but it's also great when you're filling the hair because you get to replace all the missing pigments as you lift the hair lighter so i don't want to just be just golden sands i also want to add in maybe something that has a little richness to it so we'll do naked glow seven so that way we can stabilize his brown we're going to do 25 grams of each makes 50 grams all together this will ensure his hair doesn't go green because if you put brown directly over blonde hair, it's gonna look green. So always take the step to go back darker by filling the hair and make sure you use Demi Permanent. Okay, so we're using Guy Tang, my identity, Demi Permanent Color, Naked Glow 7, and Golden Sand. So now that we got 50 grams of color all together, I'm gonna mix it with six volume, one to two ratio. So that's 100 grams of six volume. I just wanna make sure that we make sure his hair is as rich as possible because we don't want it to fade quick, we want it to last. If you feel safe putting CRC in there to make sure the hair is really, really rich, you can. So we'll see what happens. If we have to put CRC in a formula, then we will. But at this point, I'm not gonna. So now I'm gonna apply the color. I'm gonna make sure I put my hand condoms on. We are gonna apply the color all over. I'm not gonna do any clear on the ends because this is just the, the filling stage. I just wanna make sure I get all the warm colors on there. So this is primarily to heal and conceal. Yes. So we're about to rinse him and you can see his hair is now a level six. It looks like literal diarrhea. It kind of looks like my hair color. <laughs> No, your hair kind of looks really good. <laughs> it looks like like brown poop. Well, let's see what happens once we rinse it and dry it. All right, we're back. And this is the color. Well, you can see that's kind of like goldeny. It has a little bronzy tone to it, but this is the perfect canvas to apply our brown over. So we're gonna put a brown over this and let's cross our testicles and fingers 
that is gonna stick. We got you to level eight though, see? Level eight. Beautiful. So we're gonna put some ash browns in there. I'm gonna bring you guys over here with me. All right, <clears throat> let's measure this here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put his final color on. If it looks hollow, what I'm gonna do is put a filler on top of the final color, just because I want to avoid it turning orangey brown. The last thing he wants is like a bronzy brown copper. So I'm gonna go as dark as I can. I'm gonna go to five and I, demi the color. I think six IG would be good. I might grab six SS. So let's just keep our finger crossed. So our primary base, it's gonna be five and I squeeze about 30 grams five and I on a swatch looks like that five and I the dim I swatch you can see it's a dark ass brown and I'm gonna mix in six IG this smoky brown color that I love so I want it to be smoky so I'm gonna do a six SS right there just to smoke out his color just to give it a nice taupey tone five grams of six IG four grams of six SS so I feel like I need something that makes it opaque the scary three and I I don't want to make his hair black so I have to be very careful with my formulation that's three a but obviously it's gonna look darker than that because of the situation so I'm just gonna put one gram of 3a in here so that's 41 grams of color so that means we need 82 grams of six volume developer I love the fact that the product smells so good now that you're making it smell like a spa because it smells like lavender it's gonna give your client a great experience I'm just gonna whisk it up and we're just gonna apply this all over his head I think most likely I'm probably gonna have to do another coat just to make sure that when he shampoos, it doesn't fade out too quickly because of the porosity. It's not gonna wanna hold on to the color, right? So just so you guys know, a lot of your clients who are going dark is better to fill the hair, take the steps necessary, and if you're scared of going too dark, just go two levels up for the final color because you can always make it darker, but you can't make the hair lighter again. So play it safe. So we are putting this brown on you. This will take you to more of a natural dark brown color. All right, we're back. His hair is dark. How do you feel? Spooky and Spooky. so much better. Why do you feel better? Because it looked like bad before. It looked like hay, and now at least looks back to normal. It's really dark too, which I honestly really, really like. It's gonna get a little bit lighter for the first few shampoos yes. like I was telling me, but I think it looks mm -hmm. super, super good. Um, it's just gonna be a good, it's gonna be like an interesting next few months for sure. I'm gonna have to let it grow. Okay, first of all guys, I told him that his hair is porous, so even though I used mostly a level five, it took pretty, pretty dark because it's blonde. So within a couple shampoos to a week, it'll get browner, it's gonna be beautiful. You can see here, if you zoom in up close, you can see some of the brown, like right there, you see some of the brown kind of coming through. So I know he's gonna be fine, he's gonna look great. For the fact that he even let me film and vlog this, this is kind of a blessing to all of us because we get to learn how to fill and color our hairs. All right guys, thumbs up, subscribe, follow on Instagram and YouTube and Stock James. I'm sure you already are because everybody follows you. So. <laughs> 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 Alright, bye guys! Bye sisters! Bye!